It's approaching 9.30 on a bright and beautiful June 18th, 2016. And if you're watching this, chances are you're too late. Unless you happen to be watching it on the afternoon of June 18th, 2016. Calvin Castine at 73.27. Route 9, a place I used to come to once in a while when the Starfires played here. Back in the late 1960s, back then it was known as the Grand View Restaurant. It's located almost exactly one mile from the intersection of the Cumberland Head Road and Route 9 and the Northway exit up by the old uh, Northway Shopping Center and that general area there. Uh, North Country Shopping Center, I guess. Uh, just a uh, just a, a mile from that intersection, so you know where it is here on Route 9. And uh, we left uh, the hands of uh, Grandview for a long time. It was another business that operated here, and then that business was relocating. And uh, the Poyers decided that uh, this would make a great location for their second store. Here, those of you familiar with it, Rainey's True Value Hardware. Randy's Repair True Value Hardware in Shazy at the former location for so many years of the Shazy Hardware store in Shazy. But uh, now Randy's, Randy's Repair True Value in Shazy. So Randy's Repair, of course, has been in business for probably around three decades. And uh, the Poirier family decided that uh, they would expand their business and open up this store here. And it's been open for a few months, but they happening happened to have in their grand opening here today. We're going to try to talk to Chad. I don't know if his father, Rainey, will be here. A couple of years ago, we even ran into uh, into the father, <laughs> Rainey's father, Roger Poirier, that uh, we knew from a long time ago. So we don't know, maybe Tammy will talk to us. We're going to try to t find some Poyers to talk to here and learn all about Poyers True Value Hardware and their grand opening here on this June 18th, 2016. Calling after this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the girls are going to be calling now. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, Outside, I was wondering how many Poyers I was going to be able to talk to. Well, I found four so far, so this is a good start. Yeah, yep, we're off to a good start, that's right. <laughs> I'll let you each introduce yourselves. I'm Chad Poyer. And? I'm Owen Poyer. Owen? Jake Poyer. Jake. Tammy Poyer. All right. <laughs> They're known as the Poyer family and uh, owners of the Poyer's True Value. Yes, yep. <laughs> Here at our grand opening this weekend. And you've been open, when did you open, Chad? We opened, uh, I think it was uh, beginning of February. Yep. So they waited for a, the best day of the year. That's right. So I had this day scheduled, and uh, the weather, I said, as long as we schedule this day, the weather will be good, so we're set. So, gosh darn, we, yeah, we did good. we got to get you to yeah. schedule the St. Mary's Bazaar yep. in the yeah, right. next few years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Tom and I are pretty close, so we planned it out. <laughs> Tom Messner? Yeah, you? Tom yeah. Messner, yeah. <laughs> He's a good guy. Yep. Um, <laughs> We've talked to you in the past, but we've never talked to the the, the leader, the boss. The yet. boss? No, no, we haven't. She always likes to stay in the back for some yeah, reason. Pulling strings there. Just yeah. usually she's up up and back there. Yeah. Like a <laughs> puppet. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I'm trapped in this corner. I, I couldn't make my way out <laughs> this time. <laughs> uh, you're a former Cronkite. That's right. Yep. <laughs> no, not Cronkite, not Cronkite, but yeah. Cronkite. Two R's. Two right? R's in there. <laughs> Cronkite. That's right. Yes. Uh, but I suppose you've been called all three, though. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yep, definitely variations of the name. Yes. And uh, what's your main function here? Um, at the event, I'm kind of manning the raffle table and our spin-to-win game, uh, helping out wherever I need to. Okay, uh, so there's a big thing to said here, just enter to win, free drawing. So. Yep, lots of good prizes. Um, we'll be here till 5 o'clock. We've got Milwaukee here. We've got the Weber Grill. Uh, we've got the Push Mower. We've got uh, the Noco Genie Boosters. Lots of various prizes. Lots of chances to win things with us today. Wow. All we have to do is show up and write their name down. That's right. Show up. Yeah. Dunkin' Donuts is here. They've got coffee and donuts outside. We're going to have a barbecue at noon. 
It's going to be a fun day. Uh, yeah, and uh, we got a radio station here. You had one here yesterday. Yeah, yesterday we had um, WOKL. W-O-K-L. <laughs> yep. Today we Good got thing she knows. Debbie Eisenhower. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. I do the negotiating. She does the setup. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, WIZN's here with us today. Okay, what number are they? Do you know? 106.7. Oh. Yep. Yep. Good thing he got that one. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your function here today? Uh, I'm just here holding the door pretty much and helping customers. All right. Security. Yeah. yeah. Security. <laughs> In a few years, you're going to have to start helping out here, you know. Oh, yeah. You looking forward to that? Mm, it's going to be hard, but also it's going to be fun. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Working is always fun. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, right. That's most right. of the time. Most yeah. of the time. And how about you? Uh, what are you doing today? Helping people. Helping people? What are you doing? Carrying the big refrigerators and stuff like that for them? Nah. Nah. <laughs> Your moral support. Yep. Showing people where the donuts are. <laughs> yeah. Are you are you allowed to have a donut today? Just one. Just one. Yeah. yeah. He's already got his max. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think last time I was here, your your grandmother showed up and handed you about six donuts. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, Trump, Lee and I were yeah, here. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She'll be here shortly. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I think you were supposed to share those, but you didn't. You ended up. Uh, well, you, you know, you have to be careful when that comes. You know, there's only so much to go around, so you have to divide them up. <laughs> Keep a good eye on them until I can divide them up, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, so this is a two-day event. Yep. And months in the planning. Yep. And this is your second star. How many more have we got planned here? Well. We well, always got something going in the works. <laughs> you never know. You never know where we're going to get you next. <laughs> See, I thought you guys said, no, no, this is it. But uh, you're, you're leaving that door open? I always leave the door open. Yeah. yeah. You never know. Yeah. Well, this is, you know, as I pointed out, just a mile from the intersection up there, but it's from the stoplight, so yep. it's easy to find. It's convenient. Yep. Has anybody come in with any Grandview pictures yet? I'm going to put a plea out there if, if you haven't gotten there. That would be fantastic. Yeah, we did meet a fella a few weeks ago that has some and he said he's going to be back in with a copy oh, okay good so i was pretty excited about that i'll, I'll throw a, a, a little thing out there too i'll probably throw it on facebook or something sure. to ask people yeah. to they have any history pictures building that's fantastic yeah. 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 yeah yeah i don't know if that's, that, that's why it was built for the original purpose i believe so it was, it was originally built as a banquet restaurant mm-hmm. and uh, i've heard a lot of stories about people here yeah i haven't seen any pictures yet <laughs> so. Well, most of those have been destroyed. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All yeah. the evidence is gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Outside of today, what do you normally do, Tammy? Oh, a little bit of everything. Um, kind of the bookkeeper, the HR person. I'll fill in at the counter if need be. Um, Chad and I obviously work out of both locations, um, so we're either in Shazy or Plattsburgh every day. Yeah. So. Of course, with the kids being in school in Shay Z, is a little handier when it's you're in the Shay Z store. Uh, it's a little handier. This one's in kindergarten this year, just finishing up third grade, so they're right behind the store in Shay Z, which is uh, really nice for us. So, you, were you in that gym show? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Uh, that was a lot of fun, huh? Yeah. I know you were in that a couple of years ago, huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yep. When you were just a youngster, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had Father's Day kickball yesterday. Yep. Father's Day kickball. Yep, a little Father's event that the, the yeah. kindergartners put on for oh, Father's Day. Oh, the fathers in there. Yep. And, <coughs> okay. Yep. So. Uh, of course, you got to be playing. Oh, the mother's here. Yep. Here. <laughs> yeah. He's being good. He's being all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kickball, of course, that's just one step away from soccer. That's, that's right. That's oh, yeah. right. That's right up these uh, Shay Z folks' alley. For <laughs> yeah. sure. Was it indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. Yep. They wouldn't let you on George Brenner Field, though, would you? No, no not no. George Brenner Field. No, no, no. Mr. McAuliffe was out there, though. <laughs> yeah. I imagine him and Brian Norcos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, manicuring the grass. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're not just putting all your effort into. What was this before? It, uh, this was uh, the former FW Web building. FW Web. It just yep. doesn't pop into my head. I, yep. I used to drive by. It's not a place normal yeah, people would stop normal into. Contractor yeah. supply house. Right. And they've relocated up on the Tom Miller Road. Yep. Yeah. But in, in addition to all the work you've done into making this your site, you're also looking to do some renovations in Shay Z. Is that still happening? Yes, yeah. Hopefully, uh, if everything goes as planned, late this summer, early fall time, uh, I'd like to put a big addition on there and, and make it nice. 
the Shay Z folks have been fantastic. You know, they're very, very loyal, and the store's been doing well. So I want to add some more products and make it a little nicer. Okay, I know she said add. I said I. Is that yeah. we? Yeah. Um, yes, it's yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, it's we, yeah. Yeah, yes. it's we. Uh-huh. Yep. She just tells me when to stop spending. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have to slow down a little. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was this time last year, actually. We were here doing the addition on the back together. The, there's pictures of the boys here with their tool belts. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep, yeah. so I guess it's time to start another project. Well, yeah, i got to keep them busy. Yes, that's right. right. Keep them out of <laughs> trouble. Uh, is, your, is your father still helping out once in a while? Oh, yeah. Yep, he is. He'll be around today at some point. Okay, and uh, was it two years ago I ran into your grandfather, Roger. Yes, uh, two or three years ago. Yeah. At yeah. In Chasey, yep. Actually, he's due up here. I think he's coming next week. Is he? So we just missed him for oh. the camera. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'll tell you some stories about him. Yeah, later. yeah. <laughs> the camera's off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, what? I uh, see so you got Milwaukee Tools having a, a booth outside. Yep. You got the Dunkin' Donuts booth out there. You got the, the, the WIZN booth, and you yep. got the place set up for your barbecue. Barbecue, yeah. What are you barbecuing? We've got hamburgers, hot dogs, beans, salad, French fries. Michigan. Michigan. Michigan's, you yep, cooked all that yourself, Tim? Well, no, no, we have to give credit to. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, yes. <right? laughs> yeah. Oh, we've got to give credit to uh, Donna and our Shazy store, her and her husband. They have kind of manned that along Don, with. Uh, Don who? Donna. Donna Pratt Donna and Pratt. Steve Pratt. Okay. Yep. Um, they really uh, did excellent yesterday with that, and we're going to do that again at noon today. Okay, and uh, you, you usually have something at your Shazy location during the summer or fall yes. or something. Yes, yep, we usually have something again. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, yep. I have a little customer appreciation. Yeah, so. Yep. Okay, so you have a, how many square feet of uh, space are you utilizing inside here? Uh, for the True Value, about 5,500 square feet. you got a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, True Value does a nice job laying it out. They do a lot of research and uh, how c- consumers scan a store, shop the store, and the products to put in it. So they do a nice job. And if you haven't got it, uh, you can probably find it somewhere. Absolutely. Yep. True Value is a fantastic resource. They, uh, you know, If we don't have it on hand, they have a, a warehouse system that's phenomenal. Now, I, I'm sure you can't sell something that competes with a True Value product, but I see dog food and cat food here. Yep. You're allowed to, to... That's all True Value stuff. That's, Meow Mix is True Value? Yep, they're a vendor. Yep, yep they're a oh, vendor okay. and approved vendor through True Value. Uh, True Value carries way more than even what we have in the store. Um, if you go to TrueValue.com, you can buy anything on there and have it shipped to the store for free. Patio, furniture, the big stuff that maybe we can't keep here. Uh-huh. Um, like the air conditioning units and stuff, we keep some in stock. But if you're looking for something a little different, we've had people buy riding mowers and have it shipped to the store for free. There's a ton of stuff on that website. Yeah, that you wouldn't traditionally think of paper shredders. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Their, their website's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. There's an E in True Values. So it's not one of these fancy TRUs. It's TRUE. Yep. Value.com. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Hey, you sound like the cast iron. Same thing. Your family. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I got 50%. <laughs> yeah, 50 50. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, Anything else, folks, that I should uh, be smart enough to ask you here? Or anything else you want to show me? You know, I, I'm just well, oh, he's, oh, yes, yes. And there's a loopy player. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Who is loopy? Our dog. Oh, oh that's right, our dog. Yeah. Yeah, she's not quite well enough behaved to be to the store just yet. Yep. Um, does, does loopy eat meow mix? No. <laughs> no? Yep. Before you were so rudely interrupted. Yes, right. Well, <laughs> yeah. What were you going to say? Well, I think if maybe you just did a little scan of the store so okay. people see what we got a little bit. All right. I think we should be pretty good. And, all of right. course, we want to say thank you to our team, the people we have, our employees. All uh, the people in red shirts. All yeah. in red shirts we see around us today. We have a fantastic team. I just ran a, a video with that lady that just walked by here. Yeah, we've seen it actually we not that long ago. Yeah. We saw it. She was there when that last store closed yeah. at Miramar. Right. So you yeah. better keep her out of here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. She has a bad reputation. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, how Miramar, you look back. And I know. It's, it's a little, just, little upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. So opened with such hopes and... Just never panned yeah. out. No, no. So that... 
laid what laid the groundwork for Elm Street Mall that Elm came Street in Mall, very that's shortly right. after that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's now a thing of the past. That's also. a thing of the past. We've moved on from there, gotten a little bigger, expanded a little bit. So. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. I'll take uh, just uh, a little peek here and there down the aisle. Absolutely, so. Scott. Uh, if you see Scott around, he's the guy who does the day-to-day -day operations here. So if he wanted to say a few things, he could. Okay. You have a last name? Scott LeBombard. Scott LeBombard. Yep. All right. All right. Thank you, folks. It's your last chance. Anything else? No. No? no. no. How about thank you for coming to visit us? Thank you for coming thank to visit us. Thank you for coming to visit us. If I'd known this was red shirt day, I've got a blue shirt on here. I would have oh. worn my yeah, red shirt. Well, we red can shirt. fix that. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Then you'll put me to work. That's right. That's you right. put that red yes. one on. You're stuck for the day. <laughs> Uh, thanks, guys. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is for the local TV and the World Wide Web here. Scott's too busy to talk to us here. He's got to keep track of. He's got to keep track of all the workers. Come on over. He's trying to keep a guy like this busy, and uh, isn't always that easy. Look at. You look like a leaner to me here. You know. Oh uh, well. Somebody's got to hold this up. It's a little bit. Uh, you know. How are you doing? Good. What's your name? My name's Dan McBrayer. McBrayer? Yes. B-R-A-Y-E-R. B-R-A-Y-E-R. Ah, Born and raised here. I live right up the road. Down the road. Okay. And I used to have to run up to Route 3 every time I needed anything at all. And, you know, I don't mind running up there, but the traffic and getting in and out and seeing this place open up. And I'm like, what's going there? Because it used to be the old FW Web building. Right. and So close. And I was going by looking. I'm like, man. And I seen it was a hardware store. Wow. And then I... <laughs> come down here see if I could uh, you know get some work you know part-time stuff uh -huh. looking around for something to do right. and uh, came in here and I'm like holy smokes we got everything down here <laughs> been here for two months now and almost every day I find something else on the shelf that I'm <laughs> clueless you know I was like oh we we got this we got like you know I mean it's yeah every day every day there's so much so much stuff in here and it branches out in so many different things that it's just, it's amazing how much stuff you can actually put in a space this big. You well, know? You know, true value, that's what they do for, yeah. for a living, and they've, they've got it down to a science. And what's handy about the, the true value is if there's something that's not in the store, you can go online and do the e-commerce, order it, and it ships right to the store, free yeah. shipping, and then we'll call you, hey, your part came in, and there's, it's vast the amount of stuff that you get through two value it's just amazing so yeah. Yeah, but i like it here yeah, well, it's nice it's comfortable it's a good store good people to work for and it's close by to you? very close by <laughs> yeah and i buy a lot of stuff i have a little hobby shop and i build things and it's like if you need a can of varnish or a brush or whatever and come down here and grab this and bird feeders and bird food and you know whatever i mean it's they got it all they even brought all the beekeeping stuff in over here so we're getting some beekeepers coming in, and I mean, really branch out into a lot of different things. So yeah, we got a nice little beekeeper display here, and you, you wonder it's such a, a small little group. How much uh, shelf well, that's space what I'm saying. There's there's a lot of, lot of specialty stuff. You know, the marine up up the road. We got the boat section over here that came in with all the boating stuff, and there's always new stuff coming in. You know, somebody comes and asks for something, they. Bring in a display. We got fishing stuff. Guy came in with worms the other day. Big tournament going on this weekend, you know, out in the lake. So now we got fishing stuff and we got worms here and the boats are going by. And, you know, it's just like I said. Oh, it's, uh, you're looking, wondering where you're going to get worms. Well, this, yeah, we're getting up to the ceiling here and it keeps it peaks expanding. You know, one of the big things that we do is rearrange to make more room. So yeah, yeah. it just keeps growing. Yeah, there's just some kind of a, I'm looking at some kind of a heater or a light. Heater. I assemble a lot of that stuff. That's a deck heater right there. And, yeah. uh, you know, if it gets those cold nights, it gets cool out. You've got propane fire. That puts out, I think, 40,000 BTUs, you know, keep you nice and toasty on the deck so you can still be outside. Uh -huh. You know, air conditionings. Uh, you know, these are the portable ones, the window unit ones, pressure sprayers, barbecues, you know. If you have to full cleaning section, all the stainless steel hardware for like the marina hardware you wouldn't believe, all the uh, Milwaukee M Tool series in here. You know, so. and, uh, without a, a computer, it just I imagine it'd be impossible to keep supplying stuff here because you got to know when. when yeah, stuff every runs time out. some every time something gets sold, it goes in the system and then it just goes in automatically for reorder. So if something goes out the out the door, 
when the truck comes in Thursday, it's yeah, yeah it's I mean everything's got to be approved, of course, yeah, but yeah. comes right back in. So it's constant rotation, you know. Yeah, and, and you guys then, here if I say, oh, we got one of these. We must have sold the other one. That's right. That's <laughs> right. And then sometimes if you have like um, a couple people coming in asking for something that we don't have, we write it down and then make sure that we say, hey, we got requests for this product or that right. product, and we get it in, find a place on the shelf for it. All right. What are the hours here? Um, I believe, what's your hours here? 7.30 till 6. 7.30 till 6. Seven days a week or um, must be different on Sunday? It, Sunday is shorter. I think it's uh, 7.30 to 5 on Sunday. 7.35 on Sunday. Right. I usually work afternoons. So I'm not here usually in the morning, okay. which is nice. I get to sleep in. They're very accommodating for uh, your schedule. They oh. seem to have to fit everybody in like oh. a puzzle and very accommodating people to work for. So. It's way different than what I'm used to. Wow, good. good yeah. I hope you found a home here. I think I have. <laughs> and I've always wanted to talk to Mark Brayer, and now I have. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> my, <day, laughs> my day is complete. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, I said traffic. Uh, and just for the record, here's that heater that he, that he was talking about. Uh, the, and then the air conditioner. And uh, but everywhere you look, uh, and there's that beekeeping display. Uh, you know, it's the type of thing you wouldn't expect to find in a hardware store and it not only is it here it's uh, prominently located so but everywhere you look uh, down the aisle after aisle I uh, think of people that had those old general stores and you wonder what they would think if they walked into a modern uh, hardware store such as this we'll take one more look outside I think and then we'll uh, We'll call it a day. Uh, I see a lot of things that say as advertised, so uh, keep your eyes open. Apparently they might send a circular out once in a while to keep up on this. Uh, I know I s think I spotted this on Facebook, so uh, keep aware of, uh, of Facebook. Uh, if you wanna, it's a good way any business that you might uh, uh, frequent, it's a good idea if they have a Facebook page to uh, get the uh, Get a get a friendship there. Get a, a like on Facebook, and you can be made aware of, of happenings like this. And there's that there's that lady, Chad's mother, who uh, was there when we closed that that famous footwear and uh, at the Miramar, and uh, it halted the, the business, uh, commercial business at uh, Miramar some 20 some odd year maybe 23 years ago I'm trying no, 99 99 I think it was so uh, 17 18 years ago well I'm certainly glad that I was able to find time to get down here today we started the day with the uh, third uh, North Country Honor flight the trip of the season with veterans sending veterans to to Washington DC to look at their monument uh, <laughs> here's a job that uh, I would love to do here oh my gosh it's supposed to be in the 80s and 90s today uh, right now it's probably right around 70 degrees but uh, if you drove by here on June 18th and saw a bear <laughs> lying on the side of the road it's probably this guy right here uh, it's gonna be sweltering in there so <laughs> The thing we, the things we do. Uh, so I'm just glad we're able to uh, come up here and find time for this. Uh, been a busy week here on Hometown Cable. Did a couple of graduations yesterday in Ellenburg and Rouse's Point. Uh, Judy helped me out by covering an event at the Shazy School. Fourth graders putting on a nice little presentation there. And last night over in Isle of Mont for the 350th anniversary of Fort St. Anne which was uh, built there in, at Saint, uh, the site of St. Anne's Shrine uh, on the shores there back in 1666, 350 years ago. So we're, Gordy Little and I were there, then up early this morning for the honor flight. Uh, tomorrow, uh, tonight, we've got uh, an event at the, Chais, at the uh, Champlain uh, Meeting House in downtown Champlain. So just happy we'll be able to squeeze this one here into too. So that's going to wrap it up. Hometown Cable's look at Poyer True Value. Here just a mile north of the Cumberland Head intersection with Route 9. 
uh, as you're getting off the north way there and uh, heading toward Cumberland Head right by the Crate Civic Center just a mile north of there so it's very easy to find and for old 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 folks like me uh, the former home of the Grand View restaurant and as we mentioned earlier if anybody's got pictures of the of the Grand View restaurant in its heyday uh, bands playing here or banquets whatever you happen to to have in your family archives uh, if you'd be willing to share a copy of those I'm sure that they'd love to display them here at the, at the Poirier's True Value. Thanks for watching and for those of you who support viewer supported local television hometown cable TV we think is worth your support. Thanks for watching.